we've just added a whole bunch of new opt-in form templates to the Thrive Leads plugin. And this video will have a quick look at them and also talk about how best to use them. Hello, I'm Shane from Thrive Themes and if you update your Thrive Leads plugin to the latest version, you will find that there are now many more templates to choose from and they are available as uh, pop-up or light box opt-ins. They're available as widgets and available as two-step opt-in forms. And here's the idea. We, we followed a specific strategy, so to speak, when designing these forms. The first thing you'll notice is that the designs are mostly very simple. So we use simple elements and simple colors to create these forms, which makes them easier for you to edit, right? You can just change a couple of colors to completely customize the form and that's it. Meaning that, you know, you don't have to like upload a custom background image or stuff like that, which of course is cool. And we have several templates that use these kinds of features, but it just adds extra steps to the workflow, right? When you have to go and find an image that matches your offer and then resize it and all that kind of stuff. So we've eliminated all of that by having a simpler, but still, you know, very effective and eye-catching design in these new forms. You'll also notice that we've added general purpose images or icons to these opt-in forms. There are three types of images we've used. There's the subscription or email image, then there's the PDF or free reports type image, and then there's the video type image. And again, the idea here is that you can you basically use this right away as it is. So if you're opt-in incentive is a free report of some kind, you can simply use one of these uh, free report type icons without having to find or create a custom image to go with your opt-in form. So all you do is you pick one of those forms, you change the text, maybe you customize the colors if you want to do that and the form is ready to publish almost immediately. So these forms were created with convenience in mind so that you have to do the minimum amount of steps between basically opening the form editor and being ready to publish that form. However, with that said, I also want to remind you about the importance of specificity to make an offer effective. So as an example, we have these opt-in forms that are basically, you can use them right away as just a form that says, you know, subscribe to my newsletter and that's the opt-in form and there's a little newsletter type icon and you can do that. That's the easiest offer to make because you don't even have to have a free thing to give away. You can basically, all you have to have is somewhere to add your leads. So you have to have an autoresponder service or something and you can immediately publish that as your opt-in form. However, the you know, subscribe to my newsletter offer is also the weakest offer you can make. And if you've seen my next generation list building training, then you'll know why this is in, in more detail. And if you haven't seen that, I'll make it available below this video as well. So the important point here to keep in mind is that this was made to follow the rapid implementation strategy, but it isn't meant to encourage laziness. So because you know, subscribe to my newsletter is such a weak opt-in offer, this should not be what you aim for, right? It's not the idea, isn't that you go, oh, I'll just add some of these, add, you know, join my newsletter, opt-in forms, and then I'm done. The idea is that that's what you do right away. So if you have a website right now and you don't have an opt-in offer yet, the first thing you do is you publish some of these opt-in forms that simply say, join my newsletter knowing that that's not a great offer, but it's better than no offer, right? It's better than not getting any emails. It's getting a, some, you know, a small amount of emails with a weak offer. And you can do that right away. You can literally have that published in two minutes from now and start growing that mailing list very slowly. So you avoid the mistake of perfectionism where you say, well, first I'm gonna create the perfect opt-in incentive and then I'm gonna start building my list. And then you keep tinkering and tinkering and tinkering and it might be weeks or months before the first person ever gets on your mailing list, right? So we, we don't wanna do that. The rapid implementation strategy says, publish the first thing you can as quickly as you can, even if it's a very weak offer, then create a simple opt-in offer and upgrade your form, right? You improve your form and goes from just subscribe to my newsletter to, hey, get this free thing. And then you keep working step-by-step, step, making your opt-in form better, making your opt-in offer better, but you do it step-by-step step and you're building your mailing list all the way through that process. You can apply a similar strategy to the, you know, download and video type uh, images that we have and forms that we have. 
So what you can do is, you, if you have a, let's say, a downloadable PDF as your offer, you use one of the forms with the downloadable PDF icon and you don't create a custom image, you publish that right away, you just change the text to make it more specific to your offer and you publish that and then you can still go ahead and start working on a custom image or hire someone to create a custom image because in general, right, a more specific offer will lead to better results and a more specific image might also lead to better results. So what you do is once the image is completed, once you have the better image, you test that, right? You have, the, you have the form already published, you create a second version of that form, you replace the generic icon with a more specific one, and you run an A-B test to see which one actually works better. Because there's no guarantee that a custom image will work better, but it's worth testing. All right, so that is a look at these new forms and the strategy I recommend to get the absolute most use out of them. So like I said, if you are a Thrive Leads user, you can simply update the plugin to the latest version to instantly get access to all of these forms. And I will also make the rapid landing pages, the rapid implementation strategy training course, as well as the next generation list building course available below this video. So if you haven't gone through either of those, make sure you don't miss out on those. And that's it for today. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you soon.